Hello and welcome back. Today let's have a look at how to use chat GPT within R Studio to help with our R programming. So first we need this library OpenAI and then for OpenAI API key we need to go to openai.com and you can get the keys from there. So for example to create a new secret key we can give a name and then it will give us a key. We can copy that and paste it here and then run this line. I have already run that line so I'm going to go to the next line. So we'll use chat GPT. If you do not have this package you may have to install it by going to the fourth window and then click install type chat GPT this one and then hit install. I already have this so I will simply run this line. So I will start with CAT function so that gives us a better output. So CAT parenthesis the function we will use is ask chat GPT. So we can put any question here just like what you do directly in chat GPT. So let me ask three benefits of using R programming. So it gives us uh, three benefits of using R programming. Number one, powerful statistical analysis. So R is uh, definitely very popular among statisticians and anybody who is working with data. Number two is open source and community driven. As you know R is free and it has a very strong community. So you can find lot of things available on the internet and reproducible research. So people who work on research they find R very useful. Now let's use another function comment underscore code. If we provide any code here chat GPD can provide us comment about it. So iris is one of the data sets in R and one of the variables it has is sepal.length. So if we run this it will add inline comments to this code. With the hash symbol it says this line generates a histogram of sepal.length column in iris dataset. So that's exactly what this code does. Another useful feature is if we have an incomplete code it can complete that code. So the function name is complete underscore code. So let's say histogram with iris data and then in the next line if I simply say hist iris dollar sign and I leave that incomplete if we run this line it completes the code. So it adds this sepal dot length one of the variables to create a histogram. So the complete code will be something like this. And it will generate a histogram. Another thing we can use chat GPT for in R studio is to explain underscore code. So as the name indicates it can help us to explain any code that we may have. So for this I am going to github and from my account let me go to deep learning with R and probably somewhere here hyperparameter tuning. So within this entire code I have this part for partitioning the data. Let's copy this and simply paste this within quotation marks and run. It will explain the following R code that we have pasted. We may have to wait till we have this stop sign in the console window. Okay, so we have this output now. It starts by telling that this R code is used to split a data set into training and test sets for model building and evaluation. So that's exactly what we were doing there and then it goes line by line. 
So this line set dot seat, for example, sets the seat for random number generator in R, ensuring that randomization in subsequent lines will be reproducible. So for example, if I run the code again with the same code, so same partitioning between training and testing data will be done. And then it explains the next line and then the next line. So very detailed description or explanation for each line of code. Now another thing it can do is to find any issues that a particular code may have. Find underscore issues in code. So within quotation, I'm going to copy the same code that we had earlier. So this is exactly same code. And in the last line, let's remove one equal sign. So we know that this will give us an error, but we also want to see how ChatGPT can help to correct this error. So we run the line, find issues or bugs in the following R code. So it gives us this output. It says there are two issues in the provided code, typo in indexing. So the last line, so that's where we remove this equal sign. So last line has a typo where IND equal to two should be this. So it correctly points out what is the problem in this code. So the correct line should be this. And then it identifies another issue, undefined variable data. So obviously here we have not mentioned what is this data. So both problems it is able to identify and explain to us. So that could be very useful. Now another useful feature is it can guide us in optimizing a code. There is this function in ChatGPT optimize code. So let's paste same code and see what ChatGPT will suggest us for optimizing the code. So we run this. So after a few seconds, we get this output. Here is an optimized version of your R code using data.table package. So it suggests we use this library and then uses our set.seed thing. And then it wants us to convert the data using data.table and then create a column with random values. So it uses some part of our code, but also makes some changes to optimize and then use IND column to subset the data into training and test data sets. So this is similar to what we had. And then subset target variable based on IND column. And then it provides some explanation of why this will help or why this is an optimized version of my code. So using data.table package allows for faster data manipulation compared to using base R functions. So if we have a small data set, it may not be a problem, but if you are working with a lot of variables and a huge data set, so even small improvements in running data manipulation faster can be a big help. So these are some of the ways the chat GPT can help us within R Studio when we are working with R programming. And I'm sure you'll find these features very useful. The only thing is when you are using the OpenAI API key, we may have to pay some price. And right now it may not be very expensive, especially if you are working on research or doing some work for a company. Most of the companies or universities will be happy to reimburse these small payments that we have to make. Thanks for watching. See you soon.